Welcome back guys to Paper Mario! As I brought us back to one of the areas that we missed something, a star shot, a star piece lies on the other side so it's time to test out Paracarry's powers! I hope you can reach! Which you can, great! Another star piece! For our powers, ah! Run away! No, 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 don't get me! Run away from the enemies! However, there is of course that one other option. Oh, let's see what Paracarry can do in a fight, eh? The one other thing that we can make him reach. Actually, there's more than one thing we can make him reach if I think about it. Hmm. Right, anyway, Paracarry, let's see what you have. You have Sky Dive and Shell Shot. Attack an enemy in the air by bumping into it, or just kick an enemy. Okay, press A right before landing. Okay, that was complicated. More complicated than I thought it would be. I'm going to have to charge now anyway to be able to defeat the other guy. You have to learn his attack patterns, that's for sure. And not get hit in the head with a rock. Or in the feet. Take him out, take him out. Have another go at this, Paracarry. There we go, two damage. Seems the maximum anyone can do at the moment is two. As long as I charge my hammer, we can get through those. Go, Paracarry, let's find someone we can actually beat up. Ah! Whew, dodge, just barely. Head back to the other special area where we can use your powers. Ah! Ah! Of course, we can jump down somewhere. Because we see that big metallic hammer over there, possibly a new badge. Don't jump on me, sir. Let's get ourselves across. Oh no, I gotta press it before I even move. I was hoping with momentum, we get across a little bit easier. Find out what we get. You got the Quake Hammer badge. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. A new badge. Oh, sir. You, uh, destined to try and attack me, are you? Dodging as much as I could there. Hey, right, Paracarry, go to work. Nicely done. We got so many jump abilities and not many hammer ones on at the moment. Nicely dodged. Time to finish you. There's one more area we can fly over to that we saw on the way. So let's head there right away. Such tiny amounts of experience, it doesn't even feel worth it. Might be okay to grind on if you stayed near the heart thing, but it would be really boring to grind, that's for sure. Gotta at least give two stars. Otherwise it just... It's fairly useless. Oh, we gotta be up on that level to be able to get through. Let's change quickly to Bombette just in case we get into a fight here. I don't really want to try jumping over him if you know what I mean. Just in case I land on his spiked feet as usual. Alright then, charge it up, charge it up! So maybe if I used Earthquake Hammer I could knock them on their backs or something. That'd be interesting. If we could knock them over they'd be very easy to attack. Ah, oh, I didn't manage to dodge it. We can defeat it for a total of 4 FP though. Otherwise it would take 4 turns. Nicely done, Bombette. Let's move on. We're constantly changing our party members though, which is a good thing, I think. To design it like that. Hello sir, it's popping out of nowhere. Let's get across here, Paracarry. Say hello! Huh? You're talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you were talking to me! It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. You got the magical seed. Have it planted in the flower garden in Toe Town. 
Please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. I'm sure it may do. You know what makes me happy when folks see me and smile? That's every flower's dream, every flower's hope, every flower's life. Deeply profound there, sir. We understand you. In the meantime, we evacuate and run away from you. And try not to slip off the edge. We we're paper thin, so surely we won't. Hopefully we've been collecting every single star piece on the way, but I'm doubtful of that. Let's move on. Lots of extras to pick up. Most importantly, now we're power carry. We hopefully can move over into the desert proper. What are you, sir? You look mischievous. Don't look at me like that. Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner! Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. Yes, I'm Mario. Everyone kind of recognizes me. Maybe I should wear some different clothes and go incognito a little bit. Oh, you've got, you've got a piece of paper, have you? A wanted sign? Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Hmm, well, Luigi, a part... You do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Excellent. We'll just bluff our way through. It worked perfectly. Surely he didn't notice. He probably will notice. Maybe I should have said Mario so we could fight him and get some extra experience, but still. That worked out pretty well. A bit of a dumb bird, but whatever. We continue onwards with no problem. I'm amazed that worked. Everyone knows Luigi's green, but then of course even Luigi himself notes that he doesn't go on adventures, so maybe people just forget about the little brother. What's going on with these rocks and stuff? Oh, hello Coopers! You have a very nice moustache, huh? With the moustache brothers. Well, hello there old boy! How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado! I'm an archaeologist, you know! I travel the world! At the moment I'm turning dry dry desert upside down to find the dry dry ruins! My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Lots of Dry Dry. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. We'll be golden by the sun, surely, first. You're Colorado, correct? We have a letter. Ah, the name's Parrot Carry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, good show! Here's a letter from my wife! Thank you ever so, old chap! This is just what I needed to give me strength to go on! I know! I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks! I came across it while I was immersed in the digging around here! I've got a star piece, great! Well, hello there, old boy! How goes the travels? I'm known as Colorado, we know! And you're looking for stuff, but Dry Dry Outpost is near, so maybe we should go there next! To get to the desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, just go due east of on this path! Have you kept a lot of straight from the path right with you? You may find some trouble, and you'll definitely get lost. All archaeologists are English sounding, you know that. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. We will. We're assisting Prof Colorado. Right now, we're waiting on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try to bring back some information. Did you know the people of Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? What a dry 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 dry. What a cool thought, huh? People have been living here, watching over the ruins for many generations. Dry. That's all I know of this place, sir. Very dry. Doesn't seem like we've got any secret things to find in this desert so far. Can't even hit that tree, I don't think. Let's head to the outpost at once. What are you doing, sir? What? 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 What's that? Uh, yeah, you get hit. There's loads of you. What am I supposed to do about the overwhelming amount of you? Right, we'll shell shot. Attack an enemy in the air by bumping into it. Well, that's no good. You don't need to attack a single target. This is a bit of a moment where we want the other turtle. Change, sir. We'll find out what to do next. Somehow, some way, get hit with the hammer. Go away. Oh, this. They're stealing my coins! I can't stop them! 
and doing damage on mass as well. Give my coins back, guys. Tell me what's going on here. You might need to run away with the amount of damage they do. This is a bandit. Bandits bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to 10 coins, you're telling me. Max HP is 5, attack power 2, defense power 0. They'll slightly approach and then slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they can make off of your loot. This could be really bad in terms of damage I overall take. Multi-bounce. This might be good to put on Earthquake thing, actually. Give me all my coins back, friends. Or not so friends. Oh, if I don't block these. Oh, man, I'm just taking so much damage. Okay, we managed to block one. He's upset. This could get really bad. Right, we need to stop them taking our coins again. But in the meantime, we're just dying left, right, and center. This is not good. We don't have an item that can stop them all. Sleepy sheep, no. Let's multi bounce yet again. And we only stopped the two that had the coin, and we actually defeated one, so we should be able to keep ourselves alive. He says. Losing health left, right, and center here. This is who we really needed out from the start. Now we've learned a bit more. We can hopefully try to stay alive a bit more. This fight was horrific. Heal me, sir. I need it. And here comes the attacks again. Get the timing right, Sam. No! Because they stop and it's really annoying. Yeah, you'd be upset. Ah! Get to work! Attack them all! You're the perfect friend for defeating those guys. We didn't lose any coins, but we lost a hell of a lot of HP. The only thing is, I'm not sure if we can keep moving forward in this desert. They drop a lot of coins though, that's for sure. If another bandit comes, we could be really dead. Move back just a sec. Hopefully that vulture doesn't see me again. We know that there's a heart box just over here as well. Brilliant. Let's restore what we can and then move forward. That did not go down well. I guess if they've got the coins, the next turn is that they run away. So we could let them take the coins, take 8 damage and run away. We wouldn't get experience or anything though. We've got a friend ready for this. Ah, uh, they're coming! Okay, sirs, I'm going to have to take you on, yet again. Now if I take you down to 2 HP, then that means he can take you down on the next attack. So we only have to take 3. Ah, Mr. Ken! This is not going well. I'm really bad at that! Right then, sirs. I would multi-bounce, but I... Oh, I don't know what to do. We'll take one of you at a time, as long as we use Power Shell, we're fine. He uses free FP straight off the bat anyway. It's just a nasty pack. Get my coins back! Okay, we managed to block. Yes, you better be unhappy. Now we can finish them. So another 8 experience is not a bad trade-off, to be honest, with 6 HP. Oh, uh, you know, best not to take any damage whatsoever. We didn't get the power done right there, but we are fine either way. The bandits defeated once again. Drop all your coins, sirs. Oh, lovely. Honey syrup as well. Drop that, so we can drink some. Now I gotta get the coins, get the coins quick, quick, quick. There we go, great. 
Let's move through the desert. That rock up there looks suspicious though, I think, personally. There's only one bandit in the whole area, so we could have moved forward without problem. Still, painful. No, nothing special here? Okay. It looks suspicious, but isn't. Blooming bandits though. Oh! More of them! I do not want- oh, you didn't first strike me, that's good. There's never three of you though. Okay, just get to work, Koopa. You're our best hope for killing them nice and fast. Multi-bounce, maybe? Multi-bounce would mean a quick end to the fight. Because next turn, of course, I can just... Ow, sir! Gotcha! I'm getting better with their timings now, that's for sure. I could, in fact, just do it the standard way. And not use Shell Toss, save a little bit of FP there. Take him out. Oh, I didn't even manage to block! So I traded 2 HP or for a 3 FP. Uh. A bit worried about these fights now. These enemies are putting up proper battles. They hurt! More FP back. Oh, out of the way, sir. Leave me alone. How do we fight you, then? Obviously can't jump on you. Question is, how do you fight me? We just took out one segment of you. You went down all the same, right? Okay, you do two damage. That's nasty. And your attack timing is weird. Let's see how much HP you have total anyway. Here, we'll take you out, sir. We really need to get our Goombario friends scanned. They got 4 HP. And you spawn more. This is very bad. Right then, um, I would like to know what's going on with these a bit more, so this could be really bad now. And even the spawn ones don't have... Really? And I can't really guard very well against them, that's for sure. I don't have an item that I can whack them with. We should keep some damage items to get rid. Right, um, yes. Hmm. We have our star power back. We can find out a bit more about them. We really need to learn how to dodge their attacks, otherwise they're just going to keep summoning more and more and more and more and more. We got all the FP in the world. We need to know a bit more about them. This is Pokey, an evil cactus. Pokey's attacked by throwing parts of their bodies up, all by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP is 4, attack power 2, defense power 0. Be careful fighting them, it'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads, we know. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements, that's what we know worst. What we really need in... ...is our turtle friend. But I can't block any of these guys' attacks. The attack comes after they fall down, more or less? I do need to switch, sir. And I need to use some kind of item. Because I'm not surviving much longer if I don't. We have a super shroom, so we're going to have to use it. Nasty enemies are nasty. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. He lost part of him, but that's easier to... Well, slightly easier to dodge. But the timings are different depending on their... General length. Alright then, time to take out at least one more of them. Or two more of them. Unless they summon more people. One of them's getting very short, however. 
And now I'm really unsure about what the attack timing is going to be now, if you know what I mean. We keep losing segments. They keep doing damage, and we got a total of 10 experience for that. Nasty fights now. A dried fruit restores 15 HP. Not bad return, though. Dry Dry Desert is horrible with enemies and bound that can do so much damage. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for this episode and we'll move on to the next one. So join me for that. Bye bye. <laughs>